Praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We've been looking at the book of Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 1 to 3. And today we focus on verse number 3 once again as we reflect on the love of God. Verse 3 says, The Lord has appeared to me in the past saying, Yes, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness, I have drawn you, the love of God. Yesterday, we focused on the love of God being eternal or everlasting. The love of God is there. It is not seasonal. The love of God is everlasting. And the kind of love he has shown us, it is love that has also drawn us to himself. He says, with loving kindness, I have drawn you. The second thing we pick about the love of God is that this love is immutable and unalterable. It cannot be altered by any situation. And how Jesus displayed this is clearly stated in John chapter 13, verse number 1. John 13, verse 1. The Bible says, It was just before the Passover festival, Jesus knew that, that the hour had come for him to leave this world and to go to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world. He loved them to the end. Even at the very painful moment because the love of God is immutable and unalterable Jesus loved us to the end his time had come to leave this world and we know how the journey was it was not an easy journey for our Lord Jesus Christ but because his love for us is immutable and unalterable he persevered the whole process. And the Bible clearly says, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. Persevering the pains or the pain that was ahead of him, he stood with us, he took that position and he loved us to the end. All this is because of this one word, love. And this love, yesterday we said it is eternal or everlasting. And today we have said that this is an alterable love. It cannot be altered. Jesus has displayed this very clearly, that having loved his own, because of this love, even being called his own, his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. There are times when we feel as though the love of God has been altered in our lives because maybe of what we are facing, what we are experiencing, what we are going through, but it is a reminder today that the love of God is an alterable love. Nothing can alter this. He remains such a loving God, such a loving Father at all times. And at such a situation, Jesus was facing the worst moment, but he decided to stick on his love for you and me. And so the love of God, even today, cannot be altered by any situation, any season. He is such a loving God. His love is everlasting, eternal, unalterable love, immutable love. Let us stick on the love of God and at the same time we reciprocate to this love and by doing so, we shall enjoy this life and the life to come. May the Lord bless you. God keep you. God loves you. In the name of the Father, Son, 
and the Holy Spirit. Shalom.